Hello everyone and welcome back to Birding by Ear. In today's video, we're going to focus on a single species, which is the highly aerial, fast-flying, acrobatic, white-throated swift. A species that is seen mainly in the air and near nesting and roosting sites, typically in rocky cliffs or sometimes in man-made structures such as bridges or highway overpasses. So what you're hearing in this audio clip are the distinctive calls of a flock of these amazing birds. Take note of just how fast these calls are and also of the descending quality. Notice how they start out really high and twittering and kind of end more low and rasping. There are four swift species that occur regularly in the U.S. and Canada. Three of these that occur with regularity in California. Now, of these, the white-throated swift is the only one with patches of white in the plumage. What you're going to want to watch out for are going to be the white in the throat, down the center of the chest, the sides of the rump, on the trailing edge of the secondaries. Also watch out for the long, slender tail, the scimitar-shaped wings, the rapid wing beats, and the acrobatic maneuvers. As previously mentioned, there are two other swift species, aside from the white-throated swift, that occur regularly in California. They are the Voxus swift and the black swift. The Voxus swift is a smaller species. It's kind of a gray-brown, has a cigar-shaped body. The black swift is larger and is uniformly dark and has a broad, square tail. Now, in addition to being highly aerial, white-throated swifts are also highly social and will often mingle with other species such as swallows or even other swifts. And as previously mentioned, white-throated swifts will nest in crevices in rocky cliffs or sometimes even in man-made structures such as buildings, highway overpasses, or bridges. White-throated swifts can be found in a large portion of the western U.S., a small section of southwestern Canada, Baja California, and portions of Mexico and Central America. Now in the Sierra Nevada mountains in eastern California, white-throated swifts can be found from the foothill zone up to around 9,000 feet on the western slope and in more localized areas on the eastern slope. Sometimes they can be seen on warm winter days but are generally absent during colder times. Like other swift species, white-throated swifts are highly aerial and will spend most of their time on the wing. In fact, they eat, drink, gather nesting material, and even mate while flying. Now they'll leave their nesting or roosting sites early in the morning and spend the day flying long distances in search of flying insect prey. Now also, like other swift species, white-throated swifts have tiny feet and can't perch like many birds do. Now, when they're not flying, they have to cling to vertical surfaces. Now, another cool fact is that during cold spells, white-throated swifts, like other swift species again, will go into a state of torpor and will stay at the roost sites.
Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions or any feedback, please feel free to leave a comment below.